Hi everyone, welcome to this short video on creating a Google Form. Let's jump right into it. I'm going to go to my Google Drive and I'm going to click on the Create button and sure enough there's a Google Form sitting there. A little different than most of the other Google tools. It will ask me to select a default or any other kind of theme. So I'm just going to go Math First Hour. Click OK on the default. To start off with you may notice at the very top that you have an opportunity to select some things based on your domain. We'll come back to those a little bit later on. The title of our survey, a description, so you do want to give some sort of text in this area explaining to your viewer what they're about to do and how you're going to use the data. Down here we can start creating our questions. And so this is going to be question number one. first name. And as you saw in previous videos, uh, you can select from a variety of different kinds of questions or styles of questions here. And I think a small text box will work out just fine here. The help desk help text area is excellent to give further instruction. So I just type in instruction. And now we have our first question ready. And I want to make sure that it's required. So I check there. They can't leave my survey without going to respond to this. So I'll click on done. So my first question is done and I can come back to it at any time and I can click on the edit button and revise or make some changes. Also this nice feature here on the right hand side is duplicate. So if I have a series of questions that are set up the same way I can click on duplicate. So I'm going to ask for their last name. So I'm going to jump in here and duplicate and this is going to be number two last name. Remember that all the data comes into a spreadsheet, so it's nice to differentiate first and last name so I can sort. I'm going to use the same thing here and click Done. And boom, I've got a couple of questions done already. I can continue to build my survey by adding items. Let's click on Add Item. Here we go with our next question. And we can set up and design that question any way that we want. Strongly urge that you storyboard this out before you create your survey just like any other survey that you would create for the most appropriate question for the data that you're trying to create. And so I'm going to click done on that and we have an untitled one and I can delete that at any time. You can also move these around a little bit if you want to change their order. I'm just going to click and drag and I can change the order of those if I want to. You can see how I move that. At the very bottom is the confirmation page. Once everybody's all done and they submit their form, you can actually leave a message for them here. You can even type in a URL and direct them to a place. And you have a couple of check boxes in terms of what you want them to do once they're done. Let's scroll up to the top once again. We've already completed our description. And one of the things that we also want to do when we work on this form is to decide where the responses are going to go. So we have a choose response destination button now. If we click on that, we can create a new spreadsheet. This is where the responses are going to go. And I have some choices here. I'm just going to click on create for our first hour responses. And so what it's done is created a response spreadsheet that I can go into quickly. Let's check that out. Let's go back to our Google Docs, or Drive in this case, and sure enough, there's our first hour, and here's our responses. This was just a little practice one I did a little bit earlier. So let me go into the responses, and you'll see that it's a spreadsheet of the data that's coming in live with your form. Also, we can go back and work on the actual survey. You notice the icons are slightly different, spreadsheet and survey. Click on that. Now I can come back in and do some editing. Also, as I'm working with my form, I can see what it looks like live on the web. So if I click on live on the web, this is what my survey would look like when I send it to folks. I'll close that window and get back to editing my survey. I can always come in and change the theme by clicking on the theme so I can add some balloons. Click OK. And now what does that look like on the web? And that's what my survey would look like. So, that's how you create a Google Form in Google Drive.
Thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful.